Tell us on two hits of high grade LSD tonight, or is it just me? Oh, I would say it's just me. Okay, well, this presentation is brought to you by the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter day Saints and the Born Again Christians. I just wanted to announce that, and the Catholics. And first, first and foremost, I wanted to announce I stole this chainsaw from Colorland on Bluff, right by the gym. I stole this off over the weekend. They weren't even uh, closed. I went there while they were open. I still jumped the fence and I went around back. It looks lightly used to me. I grabbed two chains. If anyone wants to buy this stolen chainsaw that I stole from Colorland, I looked it up online. It's about $300. I'll sell it to you for $175 with three chains. And I have some lubricant and some gasoline at home as well if you're interested. Just come see me after. I also stole over the weekend this pocket Spanish dictionary, which is really fantastic. Um, and in doing so, I committed two crimes, uh, stealing, right, theft, uh, from Barnes & Noble and Red Cliffs Mall. And the second crime was being there because I'm legally banned from going into Red Cliffs Mall. Thank you to the St. George Teletubby. Uh, so committing two crimes, I got this Spanish dictionary, which to me is a lot more interesting than the chainsaw. And if you're interested in uh, buying this, I would let it go for $10, which I think is about market price for a brand new Spanish English dictionary. Should we look up a word real quick? Ba -ba 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 -ba. Foco, foco, floodlight. Is that useful? I don't know, but anyhow, it's used now. I opened it a little bit. Anyhow, on with the performance. I want to sing a song first that in some ways is a little bit confusing to me. If you know the words, sing along. If you don't know the words, don't worry about it. It's a very easy song. You'll know them soon. And it's a song that's very near and dear to my heart. Jesus, my main man, my personal Lord and Savior, JC. Now, guys, look, you're going through a dark time. You don't know what's going to happen after you die. I'm here to tell you, you don't have to worry anymore. You know why? Because life is everlasting and eternal. And all you have to do to go to heaven is accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. How do you do that? You say a prayer. It's from the New Testament. John chapter 3, 16. And it's a Bible verse, and it goes... For God so loved the only world, for God so loved, God damn it, I said it wrong. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, and whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. That's it. It's like magic. So you say this prayer, and Jesus, he comes out, and he goes into your heart, and he lives there, and you're basically good for life. You know, depending on which church you belong to, you'll go to the heaven. Um, you might have a job, you might not. You're going to see all your dead relatives, all your dead pets. Uh, you're going to see um, Miley Cyrus's dead pets. Nobody gets that joke. That's one of her albums. No one cares about Miley Ray Cyrus. <laughs> Anyhow, I find that song a little confusing because, you know, red, brown, yellow, black, and white. Red? I guess that's Native Americans. I mean, that's a little confusing to me. I, I know many Native American people. They don't appear red to me. Brown? All right, I guess we're talking about Latin Americans. Red, brown, yellow. I know Asian people, and they don't look yellow to me. Black and white, we don't need to go over those. So I wanna talk about this, this cross for a minute, which again means so much to me and my, my Lord and Savior, my personal Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and the everlasting eternity of forever. And one thing nobody ever talks about, one thing I almost guarantee you have not thought about is how shitty it is, okay? Now don't get me wrong, I'm not putting it down. I'm saying literally shitty, it's poopy. Okay, why am I saying that? Because he got crucified, he died. What happens when you die? You shit yourself, your bowels release, okay? If you didn't know that, I'm sorry to be the one to tell you, when you die, you're gonna shit your pants, your great-grandparents, great-great-grandparents die and shat themselves, and one day, you and your great-grandchildren and everybody else are all gonna die and shit themselves, unless they come out with technology that fixes it. So this cross, you know, 
the crown of thorns and the blood, and he's sweating, and they cut him open, and water came out. No one talks about the piece of wood being covered in shit, though, and he definitely, it is finished, and then died, and he definitely shit. It's just what happened. I'm sorry. And you know what else? He was disgraced by that point, okay? You gotta think about that. He's receiving one of the worst punishments, perhaps the worst you could receive during that time. I would be highly suspect of the notion that they gave him a brand new piece of wood. So I'm expecting that they actually gave him a used piece of wood that maybe 20 or 30 other dudes had already been crucified on and shat themselves on. So just wanna remind you how shitty this is. And wait a second. I can't talk about Obi-Wan Kenobi without talking about Darth Vader, can I? No, I think not. So, I have a song now about Satan, okay? The Dark Lord. Now, if you've watched film or television in the last 10 years, you're going to notice something very specific, okay? And what that is, what is it? Well, every position of power, whether it's a CFO, a chief financial officer, a CEO of a company, uh, the, the person in charge, the police chief, if there's a hostage situation, the hostage negotiator, they are all black women now. Okay? You might not have known that, but I like this. And the reason I like it is because it's a very accurate portrayal of our world smashed to patriarchy. Uh, in the real world, it's the same thing. If you commit a terrorist act and they bring in a terrorist negotiator, it's going to be a black woman. If you go to a police station, go to the chief of police, it's going to be a black woman. Um, so, in a certain sense, they, they're getting it right now. And I want to get something right about Satan, okay? About the devil, the dark lord, the prince of darkness. He's actually not a man. He's a woman, okay? And so this is some things I want to say to Satan, to the Dark Lord. Deceiver! Liar! Deceiver! Liar! Not particularly talented. No. Not a nice individual. Rotten. Rotten. James, I see you, James! to the core. She, she is rotten to the core. She's full of shit. She's a liar. She's a deceiver. She's immature. She's inconsiderate. She's a bad person. She's a really bad, 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 really bad person. Satan. And Satan, god damn it, fucking breath stinks. No one ever told you. Going nowhere Satan. Not funny. You know why? Because Satan is not smart. And when you're not smart, you can't be funny. That's why it's better to hang around with intelligent people. Because they're funnier. So hang out with some really funny people. Because they're so much funnier. I rebuke you, Satan, in the name of the Lord. Get saved. Satan, I go to sleep, and I still think about you. Satan, I still miss you. But you know what? You don't deserve me. Jesus does! Satan, you don't deserve me. Jesus does! And now, ah! Trigger alert! Safe space! Trigger alert! Safe space! The blood of Christ compels you! I'm sanctified in the name of our Lord, Jesus Christ. God bless us all, everyone. That's it. Thanks for the good news.